What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Microsoft Flow, we are talking about variables, and we are talking about the append to string variable. So what is append to string? So append to string action in the variables um, category of Microsoft Flow allows you to add something into an existing string that may already be a variable. So this could be adding uh, a last name, for instance, or adding an email address or adding any text you want onto the end of a string that you've already initialized. So let's take a look at that. So we're in Microsoft Flow here. We have the manual trigger flow and we have an initialized variable action here. So this um, variable is called name, uh, it's called test v2. We have a type of string and we got a value of hi my name is. Uh, let's change that to my name is. Uh, and then we are going to click on new step, go to built in, expand variables, and we'll go to append to string variable. So first thing it's asking for is a name. So this is the name of the variable, not the name of the step. So unlike in other, uh, in other areas of Microsoft Flow where we are looking for the step name, this is actually looking for the name of the variable itself, which is test v2. Next, we are looking for a string um, type and uh, the value, and we're going to append something to the end of this. So I'm going to say, hi, my name is, and we're going to go slim shady. So let's test that and see what it looks like. So we'll save and test. We'll run flow, click done, and we'll initialize the variable. It says, hi, my name is, and then the append to string ah, only has an input. So we know what the input is, but we don't know what the output of the overall variable is. Luckily, we can do something about that. We'll just create a quick compose step. So if you've watched my earlier videos on uh, data operations, we can look at compose. So compose, and we're going to choose the test v2 variable here. Now, what you'll notice is I'm not calling this stage or this step here, the append to string variable. I'm actually just looking for the name of the variable. That's because after we get past this append to string stage, that variable should now be updated and stored in memory. So we're just looking for the output of that. So we're not actually looking for this plus this or like this stage here, we're actually getting the variable, which is why this is so powerful. So let's test that and look at the output. So we'll hit run flow, we'll click done, and we'll go down to compose stage now, and we can see the input is, hi, my name is Slim Shady, and that is the culmination of the initialized variable plus the append to string variable, and that is the output. So, what do you guys think? How do you guys use this at the moment? Do you use this at the moment? Do you have any ideas on what you're going to use it for in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. If you could like and share my video if you found, if you found it interesting, that would be great. Uh, as always, if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit me up on Twitter, the app D365Geek. I'd like to connect, talk about Microsoft Flow talk about the Power Platform, talk about any, whatever you want, let me know. I uh, hope you liked this video, and if you did, I hope to see you next time.